So today I'm going to something that is very, very special to me. I think today's gonna be a really good day. <laughs> very very early for me uh, I'm not used to getting up this early unless uh, I have something important that I have to do I am getting ready to go to the airport um, I am going somewhere that you guys have seen in the vlogs before uh, I'm not gonna tell you where just yet but I think you'll I think you'll recognize it once once I show it so today I'm going to something that is very very special to me it's a, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of opportunity um, again, I'm not telling you where I'm going just yet. I think some of you will be able to tell where I'm going just from my shirt alone. Maybe. Getting ready to go. Uh, my flight is rather early. And, um, there's something I have to take care of before I go to the, the special thing that I'm going to. I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm very, very worried that my camera might die as I'm filming stuff today. I don't have a second battery, so I'm gonna try and like, I'm gonna try and conserve my battery power and only film what I think I really need to film because I don't wanna miss something that's important. So if I do end up missing something and it doesn't go in the vlog, I'm so, so sorry. I really do wish I had a second battery because it would just make life so much easier for me. <laughs> I don't know if I could just pop it in and not have to worry about it so anyway i'm getting ready to go and uh i'll take you guys with me oh my goodness you guys i'm so stupid i just talked about how i didn't know if i'd be able to charge my camera i forgot it <laughs> and i also forgot keys for something very important but i have them now and now i'm leaving I'm running late now because I didn't realize until we were already on the road, so I gotta go. vlogging in airports because it's so busy and I look like a fool. Yes, I'm back in Chicago and I'll explain later. <laughs> First I gotta get to the train, which is this way. It feels so nice here already compared to what it's like in Florida. Yes, I am in Chicago and I know I should already be in Chicago um, and I'm not. I don't live in Chicago anymore. Uh, I will be again soon. Just not right now. Okay, by myself again. I should really just wait until I'm like, totally alone by myself to vlog. I'm waiting for the elevator so I can uh, get down to the trains. Yeah, so I don't live in Chicago anymore. It's a long, long story and I'll probably get into it soon. Uh, right now I'm just visiting. I'm gonna be here for like 30 hours. So, um, first I gotta get to my storage unit because there's a couple things that I have to take care of there. And then I'm going to a very, very, very special event. I'm very excited. Okay, that was way too much of a hassle. I had a negative balance on my card, but I had to add stuff onto it, so it was too much.
show. How is everyone doing? No, oh god, oh no, not you! <laughs> Jesus! No, put that away! What's wrong with you? What is that? Oh god, it's disgusting! No, stop, sit down! God almighty, Jesus! Anyway, welcome to the live show. This is going to be a bit different. We decided that we wanted to try a completely different type of live show. Something completely new, something that I don't think many people have actually done before. And it's really weird because I can't believe this many people should like pay to sit in a theatre to watch me live stream some games from my house. So thank you all so much really for coming out. It's, I think it's going to be a really good time. We have some like really good games in store and... What? What? What's going on? Oh! You guys thought I was actually going to be here on the stage. Like, how did I get here and you guys were there? Oh no, do we have anything planned? In, oh, no. Oh, um, okay, okay, hold on. Look, shiny keys. Yeah, right? Sh shiny, ke shiny keys? No. Mary had a little, little no. Mary, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. How to entertain a live audience. Let's see what Google says. Create the illusion of direct eye contact. Is it working? Spread the heat and start the fire. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out if I do anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna start drawing something and you have to guess what it is. So... Alright, okay. How about this? I'll come out from behind my screen if you put the cameras away and come out from behind yours. Do we have a deal? God. I don't know how I'm gonna go about talking about this. Okay, so this is probably gonna get really rambly. You'll just have to bear with me. Hopefully I can edit it in a way that makes sense and isn't super annoying to listen to. So yeah, I went to Chicago this last weekend to see Jacksepticeye. If you don't know who Jacksepticeye is, Oh my gosh, where have you been on YouTube? For those of you that maybe don't know, he is a very popular gamer let's player on YouTube. And um, I've been subscribed to his channel since 2014 when he had just a little bit over 1 million subscribers and now he is kind of getting close to 17 million subscribers. Um, he's someone that I've looked up to for a really long time and you know, I love his content, I respect him as a creator, I think he's so funny, and he's someone that I would genuinely want to call a friend someday. I've tried to make plans to go to different gaming conventions, um, specifically PAX and or Indie PopCon, um, 
to go and meet him because I just wanted I wanted to see him in person and you know thank him for all that he's done for me and um tell him you know how much he's changed my life and just to give him a big hug when I found out he was doing a tour I felt that I had to go because I wasn't able to make it to the last convention that was um, earlier this month and when I found out that it was gonna be in Chicago I was like I have to go I didn't know what to expect from his tour he never really explained to us what his tour was gonna be about and I am so glad that he didn't tell us I've probably waited until after all of his shows are over with to post this video because I don't want to spoil uh, the whole show for anyone who hasn't gone yet um, and I probably still won't be talking about the details of the tour because um, it's a very it was a very personal and intimate sort of event and you kind of had to be there to experience it and um, he said it himself that that kind of thing didn't really translate well to video that's the reason that I didn't have a whole lot of footage of the actual event. Um, I did have some footage from the Q&A, um, but again, that was a personal thing, you know, people asking him questions that were important to them and, um, you know, I didn't want to post it publicly for other people to, you know, they didn't necessarily give me permission to post it, so, um, you know, that's why it's just the clips and the music underneath it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show some of the stuff um, from it. But uh, as you saw in the video, he um, had very kindly and respectfully asked us not to take video or pictures. He had explained to us that it, you know, the show was meant to be a very personal thing, a very atmospheric thing. Um, it was very intimate and uh, even if he didn't ask us not to take pictures and video, I probably wouldn't have posted some of the stuff. Um, if I was filming the whole thing, I, the, I probably wouldn't have been posting it anyway because, you know, it really was very special. It was, you know, it was, it was special to me and it was special to a lot of people, you know, the kind of message that he was sending and what the whole show was about and it was just a really amazing thing to be able to, to see and to know that I was at the very, very first show that he had ever done, you know, they weren't sure that the the structure and the format of the show was going to work, that people would, you know, get what they were going for, and that people would react to it the way that they were hoping they would, and, and they did, and it went amazing, and I've never experienced something like that in my life, and it was very special to me. I'm so grateful that I was able to be there, and it meant a lot to me to be able to experience that and knowing that there are so many other people who I'm sure would have wanted to experience it as well. I'm just so grateful for the impact that he's had on my life because I see what he's done for me and I can only imagine how great of an impact that that must be for so many people, especially younger people who are going through a lot right now who are struggling with different things and are hurting and feel like they have no you know people who feel like they have no place that they feel like they belong and if this community that he's built people feel like they belong and it makes me happy to know that he has done so much for these people and given them so much hope and laughter and you know the amount of goodness that he's done for me is just a fraction of what he's done for so millions of other people in the world and I feel so blessed that I got to be there because it's not ever it's not something I would have ever imagined I would get to do his show was called how did we get here and through every moment of that show, I was getting to see how we got here. And it, you know, it was a story about how this, the channel and the community that he's helped to build has become what it's become and the good that it's done for people and how much it's changed his life and how much it's changed our lives and, you know, the relationship that we as a audience have with him and that he has with us and it just made me think a lot about a lot of stuff and 
I was able to leave the venue that night more motivated to do good and to do what makes me happy, what I'm passionate about. I just don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say all of this. How how I feel about the whole thing because it was just like <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with emotions of how amazing the show was and I think even people who don't know him who aren't part of the community if they had gone to the show they would have gotten the message and I think they would have left better people for it and I know I did <laughs> So I know he's not going to be seeing this, I know he's not going to be seeing this video, but I know there are probably a lot of you on Tumblr who are watching this video who are probably seeing my face for the first time, which I never thought about, so hi! <laughs> for those of you that wanted to go, I wish that you had been able to go. Um, I don't know if I speak for everyone who was there, but I felt the presence of everyone in the community there with us, and I sincerely hope that that is something that you get to experience yourself. Um, if you haven't met him before, if you have met him before, if your life has at all been changed by him, then... You're a special part of the community and I don't know what we would do without you. Oh my gosh, I've been filming this part for over 15 minutes because I just don't know how to say all this. <laughs> All these like thoughts and feelings are just like circling in my head and I don't know what to think of it. I don't know what to make of it. It's crazy. It was a crazy experience and I'm so... I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of it and that I was part of the very, very first show. I'm so grateful that I got to sit in the second row and see the smile on his face with every joke that he told, with every story he he described to us every minute of it was special and it was magical i wish i would have had the chance to actually talk to him and tell him how grateful i have been for you know everything he's done and i wish i got to hug him and take a picture with him and um i hope i get the chance to talk to him in person someday if there's one thing that i took away from this show it's that it's really important to be able to look back on your past and recognize life's hardships and know that they happen in order to make you stronger and to get you to a place in your life that will bring you happiness and to know that there are good times and bad times and just knowing that if you can fight through those bad times and those struggles that you're facing that you will come out the other side stronger and you can be the hero of your own story. Believe in yourself, believe in others and know that things will get better and you are destined for greatness and there are always people that will support you in being able to achieve your dreams. So I guess that's it for the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. We've officially passed 100 subscribers and that is mind blowing to me. I don't know why there's that many of you out there who care. But after going to see the show, it's motivated me to try harder with vlogging. This is something that I care deeply about and I wanna get better at it. I wanna do more with it. I want to help make a difference to other people. I appreciate all of you. I am so happy that we have 100 subscribers that we're even going past that now. Um, I don't know what the next step is for this channel, but I'm excited to see where everything is gonna take us. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you soon, bye. Also, do you like my shirt? It's from the tour. How did we get here? How did we get here? It's a mystery. <laughs>